that treasure home and welcome back to the channel excuse me we are on day 25 100 days of favor with joseph prince mm, my goodness <laughs> that's the coffee <laughs> so let's see here day 25 practice jesus's presence and smell like him mm, i wonder what that can be like today's scripture the one, then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful and plain, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person. And the Lord is with him. First Samuel sixteen eighteen. Do y'all have a hint on who it could be? David is a wonderful example of someone who talked to the Lord and practiced his presence all the time. Even as a young teenager taking care of his father's sheep in the fields, he would be singing psalms and hymns to the Lord and playing his harp. In 1 Samuel 16, the Bible records that King Saul was, a very unsettled, was very unsettled and his servants told him that he was being troubled by a distressing spirit. Then and they then advised him to bring David before him to play the harp for him, saying that the evil spirits departed when David played the harp. One of the servants gave a glowing description of David as someone who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person, and the Lord is with him. Do you know why David could cause Saul to become refreshed just by playing his harp? Do you know why David could have such accolades heaped upon him? I believe that the key is the past part of the verse. But the last part of the verse. Well, it is the past. But this is the present. And it's for us too. The Lord is with him. Is. Is present. A few years after Wendy and I got married, an accident happened that I'll never forget. I was on my way home one day and I stepped into a cramped elevator. A group of ladies squeezed into the same elevator as it stopped on another floor and boy, their perfumes were overpowering. I giggled because I know this story. He said, he's said it, used his sermons a lot on this. Anyway, almost dizzy from near suffocation, I got home and kissed Wendy with my usual, Hello, darling, I'm back. She looked at me and said, That's a female fragrance. I know that fragrance. I told her, Listen, darling, listen, honestly, just now. And that's why it's so important to have trust in your marriage. I'm sure that you have experienced something similar before. Have you ever been in a room filled with cigarette smoke? Yes, it's nasty. <laughs> you may not smoke, but your hair and clothes will smell of smoke even after you have left the room. In the same way, you cannot be in the presence of the Lord without His glorious, His majesty, His beauty, His power, His love, and His peace rubbing off on you. You begin to smell like Jesus. Be powerful like him and be filled with peace like him. No wonder Acts 4.13 records this about Peter and John. Now when they, the rulers of the elders of Israel, saw the boldness of Peter and John, they perceived that they were an uneducated and untrained men. They marveled. And they realized that they had been with Jesus. Beloved, Choose to, prioritize, choose to prioritize the presence of the Lord wherever you are. You will experience the undeniable evidence of his presence in your life. Today's prayer. Lord Jesus, let it be said of me, I am capable, wise, courageous person. Not because I deserve these accolades, but because of your constant present with, presence with me. Every day, let your glory, your majesty, your beauty, your power, your love, and your peace rub off more and more on me. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's thought, 
Coming more like Jesus is not a matter of willpower, but a result of spending time in his presence. Isn't that something? I thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless. Stay safe. We love y'all. And we'll see you next time in our treasure home. Thank you.